as y'all can see right here, we may have a classic storyline on our hands. Obviously, I can't play the audio because of the copyrighted music. But as CM Punk made his return, Seth Rollins was irate. Giving him the middle finger, had to have multiple people hold him back. And you can see CM Punk just casually not concerned, not worried about it. Just, you know, waving them off. And this is something that is going to have the wrestling world talking about even more than just CM Punk coming back is, is this real? Is this a work or is this a shoot? And I think it's a combination of both because we both, what well, we all know, CM Punk and Seth Rollins, they have issues with each other. And Seth Rollins does not like CM Punk. So this could literally be a combination of a work shoot, and I'm here for it. Plus, there have been other reports talking about that not many people knew that CM Punk was going to be here or show up at Survivor Series tonight. And I think this may play into that. The fact that Seth Rollins is giving a genuine reaction to not knowing this was about to happen, man. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. I had to show y'all that clip, man, because, yo, things are about to heat up in WWE. Now, I want to uh, give my thoughts and opinions and talk about where they could take this Seth Rollins CM Punk feud going forward. But we got to get into this particular tweet from Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful. And we're going to get right into it. And it's going to play into what I was talking about just previously. From people not really knowing exactly that CM Punk was going to make his return. Here's the tweet right here. Here are the details we have as of now. CM Punk told at least one person close to him he had an hour-long conversation with Triple H last week. WWE staff, reps, and creative had no idea he walked through the back in a in plain sight minutes before he appeared. They had cleared an area out. Triple H took over calling the show in the last couple of minutes and called for the copyright logo. Even many in production didn't know. Now, the reason why I bring that up, because then that would make sense on why Seth Rollins had that reaction. One, it does fit his character because he does not like him. And two, it makes sense why he would have that such harsh reaction. This wasn't, he was legitimately telling him to go F off. And it worked. And I'm sure that it plays out even more in a sense where this wasn't shown on TV. This is only shown by camera footage from people that were at the show. So you can spread that on social media. And now the fans are creating the story itself. And it works. And if you guys watch the press conference, Triple H said it himself. This was a recent thing. This really just happened. The rumors have been there, but this really, nothing was set in stone. And I do believe him. This was a recent thing. They finally had a conversation. They finally was able to meet, make things work out, and it happened. And it's good that not many people knew. It's good that he didn't tell production. It's good that he didn't tell none of the other wrestlers because moments like this, you don't tell nobody. There's certain moments in wrestling that you, you hold it to your chest. You don't tell people about it because it gives that authentic reaction and everyone at that point is like, damn, we didn't even know and we work here. And seeing Seth Rollins' reaction that's why I say it could be a work shoot. You know, maybe, you know, maybe he did tell some people. Who knows? But it works because at the end of the day, if it is planned, Triple H knows people are going to post this on social media and stuff. They're not going to get in trouble for it because WWE didn't, you know, record him giving the middle finger. But I like it because it gives some realism. And people that's posting on social media, they're going to extend the story and feud now because other people are going to see that and like, oh we we got to see why 
we got to see what's going on with Seth Rollins. Like, he it really looked like he was upset. It's reminding me of the Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins feud. How they blurred the lines of what's real and what's not. That feud was so good because you knew they legitimately didn't like each other. And this is another situation where nothing has been set in stone, but we may be seeing potentially CM Punk's first feud. We don't know. But the seeds have been planted. And this may be just an unintentional thing, but the fans have planted the seeds by just his reaction. Or you can say Seth Rollins planted the seeds with his reaction. Either way, this works. I've always said wrestling works its best when you don't know if it's real or not, when you don't know if it's a work or not. This is good. I know some people would say maybe wait till WrestleMania season to build up this feud, and that's something they could possibly do. But at the same time, they can also start teasing and building towards that, and we got the first instance of that. Of Seth Rollins legitimately, it looked like, wanting to square up with CM Punk. So it's going to be very interesting to see if CM Punk even mentions that. It's going to be very interesting to see if Seth Rollins even mentions that. I think they may build up to that point and it's going to get to that point where they finally have some type of run-in. So probably maybe closer to uh, Royal Rumble time. But if they don't, this could be his first uh first little feud. Once again, I think that's a WrestleMania match that you know should happen at WrestleMania, in my personal opinion. But they can start planting the seeds. This is good. This is fantastic. And if Triple H didn't plan for this to happen, it still worked in his favor, and he still unintentionally cooked up a intriguing matchup. That a lot of fans are going to want to see. Because you know the promo battles. Back and forth are about to be great. This is good. This is fantastic. And I cannot wait to see how things play out. So y'all comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all feel like this is a work? Do y'all feel like it's a shoot? With how Seth Rollins reacted. Also, do y'all feel like that Triple H and CM Punk were really the only few that knew about the situation? Do y'all feel like it's a big work and they kind of planned this all out in a sense where a lot of people maybe knew more than we expect? Let me know. And are y'all excited to potentially see this great feud between Seth Rollins and CM Punk? And when do y'all think they should start building towards this feud. Do they do they start it now? Like, do they actually go at each other now? Or do they wait and build it up towards WrestleMania season? When should they start their feud? Because you know it's going to happen. Y'all let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still the unspeeded YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.